my mom used to get daily guideposts and we would look at the stories together and comment and you know say well that's something like that happened to us blah 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 and when I first started writing in my mind I thought wouldn't it be a neat gift to her if someday she because she got it every year it's, a, it's you know the daily if she opened it up and I was in it and so at that that time which I don't could have been 15 20 years ago I sent off a few essays to to you know, you didn't have the internet there. Who knows who I sent it? I said the editor of Daily Guy Post, something really naive like that. And nothing happened for several years. And then, I don't know, three or four years passed, and I got a letter back from Andrew Attaway, who was the editor of Daily Guy Post. And he said, you know, I've just gotten this job as editor, and I found your essays, or your meditations, your devotionals in the file. And these are out of date now. Would you be interested in writing for them and no you know <laughs> so I was thrilled so we talked for a while and and um, my first um, year I did a series and, and when you do a series for daily guideposts it's, it's maybe you do five to seven days all on one subject as opposed to having your essays your meditation devotional spread around uh, so I did um, a series of, devo of devotionals I had just been diagnosed with uh, melanoma and so I did a series on, on living with that, and uh, it's been, but it, but it was really a neat, you know, it's the kind of thing that, that writers just generally can't count on to happen, and it did happen. It's a blessing.